welcome back to another video so um sorry i haven't been uploading for a long time that's because um i need to do lots of school work and so basically today it, it was world book day and um i just about steve jobs so basically no one in my class knew who i actually was and um only my teacher knew basically and when it was my turn in the register he told me to stand up and then he um, was talking about Steve Jobs so yeah happy world book day and yeah so guys uh, this is basically um, a kind of different experiment so we also sort of created a bit of inter engineering so today we are, we are going to be making um, a combustion machine all the way from a combustion engine um, all the way from China and I ordered a small kit and while you're looking at the part, I will tell you what a combustion engine is. Combustion means burning. So a combustion engine is a complex machine that burns fuel to produce thermal energy. Thermal means heat. And then uses that energy to do work, like, light, like lighting up a light bulb. So guys, the table's a bit low, so I'm just going to move it up a bit. And so these parts are very shiny indeed. So guys, this is the base of the engine. So now I'm just putting the four um, legs on. So um, and so you need to take the sticker on, off, and then, and then you need to put it at the corners. And I have one more. Oh, these are hard to take off. Okay, got it, got it off. Um, you need to put this in the last corner. Yeah, so you've done the legs. So guys, this is the motor and this is the wheel. And they're both attached with a rubber band. When the wheel moves, the motor also moves. Guys, now I'm going to attach this to the bit um, to here with the help of a screwdriver and some screws. Guys, now I'm going to screw this last screw in. <sighs> nice and tight. So guys, this this is the piston, and we need to make sure this part goes um, moves freely. Mm. But now I'm going to um, so I'm going to screw the piston onto the base. Okay, so I'm done that part. So guys, this is another piston. It's exactly the same, but it, um, it's just, it's like a little bit smaller. So we're gonna put it next to the larger piston right here. Guys, so the heat goes here, and then these two pistons, they connect together with this pipe. So guys, right now I'm screwing the other piston in, and in. So the good thing about these screws is, um, when you put them into the base, the, um, the screws are actually magnetic, so then it doesn't come out of the screwdriver, so then it, you can put it into the base. So guys, I connected both of the pistons to the wheel that it is connected to the motor. And so this took me a long time to do, so I cut it out. And so now we need to um, connect this pipe like that to the other piston. Be careful not to break anything. And it might be kind of hard to do it. Here you go, so all connected. Mwah, beautiful. On the other side, I added the LED, so when the motor moves, the light, the LED turns on. This is because motion energy turns into electric energy. Motion energy is also called kinetic energy. All in all, it starts with heat energy, next it's motion energy, last of all, it is um, elec electrical energy. So guys, um, I heated up the back part of the here. Yeah. So um, my dad helped me to do this, but it's not seeming to actually move. So um, maybe it needs to be a bit more hotter. So we'll see.
So guys, it finally worked. So please like and subscribe and hit that bell to turn on all notifications because I already have like 100 subscribers. So please, at least 100,000 subscribers. Or 1,000.